Hello and welcome to the Long Island Pony Post Show. Some September surprises, and the reason why I say that is because they said it was supposed to be cloudy today. And as you can see, it's not. So we're going to Peconic Bog County Park. I'm just taking a look at Forge Pond. This is where the Peconic River is dammed up along Forge Road. Yeah, another look at this uh, beautiful area here. I see some way in the distance you can't see, but I see some kayakers. It's waterways like these that are suffering because of pollution. And I do want to bring this up in this Pawnee Power so briefly because there is a whole lot of development planned in Riverhead that is uh, much more that is already there. And we have a rapidly declining water quality uh, here on Long Island because of all the development. And uh, the Pine Barrens Commission, the towns, the Pine Bar even the Pine Barrens Society aren't really getting involved in stopping all these projects along Route 58, which is about a mile, not even a mile north of here. You have Tanger and all those shopping centers, but you, now they want to build a Walmart across from the Tanger, a super Walmart, and they're going to knock down a whole bunch of woods for that, and then a Costco about a quarter mile down the road, and they're going to knock down even more woods for that. That's more runoff into these waterways, and that's what increases the pollution, increases the nitrates, brings invasive plants, kills off the native fish species, and as you can see, the water doesn't look all that clean. And uh, a, this is the consequence of overdevelopment. Unfortunately, the bad news is it's really too late because the development's here, and uh, we failed to stop it, and we failed to preserve enough open space here on Long Island. But anyway, we're going to get back to some Pawnee Woods. I just wanted to bring up that message. You can see take a look see that water does not look clean look at how dark and dirty that looks that's all from nitrate runoff um, petroleum runoff from like pavement and stuff and it's polluting our waterways we have a serious problem here and no one is taking it seriously unfortunately not even these so-called environmental groups because they're not stopping all these little developments each development puts more pollution into the, into the waters I mean, this water used to be much cleaner and it's just not as clean as it used to be because of all the development and it's a really sad fact of overdevelopment here on Long Island and that's why it's important we need to stop all these developments out here, right? Unfortunately, everybody, including the environmental organizations, are all bought and paid for by developers. That's an unfortunate. I'm really the only voice out here for complete preservation, but you can see this is what development does to our water. See how polluted it is? I remember when this used to be clean. Now look at it. It's all murky. It's terrible. Alright, so we're going to take this trail over to the power line right away. Now you might think, why am I on the power line right away? Ooh, what is this? Look at this tiny little flower here. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Alright. Not sure what that is. All right, so I was going to say before we saw that little flower, which I don't know, I don't know what kind of flower that is, but uh, you know, the development also is another consequence for the pine barrens because there is so much development here. If there was a fire in these woods, now fire is a natural part of the pine barrens. The fire will be put out because of all the development to protect the development, and that means that the pine barrens cannot thrive. They cannot, the, the pitch pines need fire to reproduce and to keep the oaks from overgrowing, a right, natural part of the pine barrens. And so when you keep fire away, the oaks start shading out the pines, and that's what you have over here. So, I figured I'd explain that to you. Oh, this is a new sign. I guess we have some archery hunting going on here. Hope that doesn't mean we're not allowed in here. Well, we're going in here anyway. It's another problem in Long Island. Whenever there's hunting going on, they don't like hikers around. Again, not a problem in New Jersey. I get yelled at here when I'm hunting. What? I'm not when I'm hunting. I'm excuse me. <laughs> I don't hunt, but uh, I get yelled at by hunters when I'm here on Long Island. But uh, in New Jersey, when I see hunters, they're friendly. They say hi. I don't know what it is with Long Island. Just to be on the safe side, though, let me just lower my music. All right. Because there could be archery hunting going on here. 
Once we're the, I don't think they're allowed to do it on the power line trail though. Hopefully not. Except I got no problem with hunting. It's just that, you know, hunters and hikers have to share the woods. You know. Yeah. You know, I was in New Jersey. You know, everybody is nice there, you know. Here on Long Island, it's a different story. You know. That's part of the reason why you're seeing more New Jersey Piney Power shows on this channel. Part of the reason because I like New Jersey better. Second's because I always seem to get yelled at when I'm here on the Long Island Pine Barrens by someone. So that's part of the reason why also. Alright, so we're coming up to the power line right away now. Ah, it's getting a little pinier over here. It's just the thing about Long Island is that pines, you always see a lot more pines like around right of ways and roads and stuff because the fires haven't been occurring to keep the pines dominating. So, you know, pines need sunshine. They need, you know, it's the main thing they need. They don't really need much else. Uh, all right, I'll show you some great shapes here. First, there's that reindeer lichen. And look at all these shapes. Yeah, nothing but great shapes over here. Alright, now as we head east, you're going to come across an old burn area. And in this area, it's nothing but pines. I mean, really nothing but pines, all the, even all the way in. See, people do not realize... A lot of people look at this, alright, oh, see, now look at this. That I got, apparently grows on Long Island, too. Uh, this is jointweed. It's a little flower. I've seen this in the New Jersey Pinelands. And it grows here as well. See, we have a lot of the same common plants. The main difference is New Jersey has done a much better job at preserv preservation. Whereas Long Island is just kind of... Yeah, look at that. Lots and lots of reindeer lichen. Now, right, take a look at these shapes over here. Yeah, look at this. Now, those are some really great shapes. Well, well, well. I can't believe we have these guys on Long Island. That, if you look closely, if you can spot it, that is a fence lizard right there. There he goes, scurrying off. I can't believe it. We have them on Long Island. Wow. Apparently we share yet another thing with New Jersey. Fence lizards. Amazing, huh? I didn't know we had them on Long Island. That looked like a fence lizard, didn't it? Wow, that's a real treat, let me tell you. Hopefully, I, I tried to get a picture of it, but uh, I don't know if it came out. You know, the funny thing about it is, uh, before, about a second before I saw that fence lizard, I had a premonition that I, I was just thinking of fence lizards before I saw one. And then what do you know? I didn't know we had them here. Oh, well, there's some crazy ones. Well, this is a burn area, that's why. Now look at those shapes. Wow. There must have been a wood pole here at one time. That's not a tree, that's a wood, that looks like a wood utility pole. That, that was a surprise. That fence lizard, I was, man. I was just thinking of it because this area reminds me a lot of Jersey, you know? See, this area right here, south through Manaville, this whole stretch here is a lot like New Jersey. But it's a small area, you know, it's not that big of an area compared to the vast, vastness of New Jersey, you know? Yeah, nothing but beauties over here. You yeah, see, it's fu see, no, this is an area that burns. See how important fire is? We gotta let these fires burn. You know what, and if the development gets damaged, so what, you know? Pine Barrens will take the development's place, that's a good thing, right? Some people would call it moving backwards, but that's the direction we need to be moving in. We're gonna be moving toward preservation, you know? <laughs> Get those, yeah. More great shapes, they're all over. Wait till we get down, uh, once we cross that fire road, it's just going to be a wall to wall pines. See, we got some crazy ones over here, some classic Jersey styles. And we got young ones too, young seedlings growing here in the right of way. And these great shapes over here. Yeah, wall to wall over here. When I've been out there, I forgot about this little stretch here. Yeah, more great shapes. All right, so you're gonna be coming up to the 
other road that kind of goes north. But uh, we're going to continue east on this. I know it's just a power right away. He's like, why is he walking on the power right away? Because this is where the pines come out to play, man. I'll tell you. <laughs> I don't know. I just thought of that. You also have some of the huckleberries changing already. You see that red over there? Sign that fall is on its way. Actually, fall starts tomorrow. I believe it's 10.45 p.m. Something like that. So, astronomical fall. But uh, meteorological fall, or autumn, started on September 1st. So... Look at those shapes. Now take a look at these wasps. I believe that's focused. You can see that. These type of wasp, I've seen these in New Jersey as well, but I've only seen them in the Pine Barrens. I don't know if you can see these wasps. This camera has a lot of trouble. I'm still going to have to send this uh, 300 HS in because it's still having trouble focusing in macro. It's all blurry. I don't know what the hell's wrong with it. Got it in macro. I don't know what's wrong with it. It's a good time waster, what can I tell you? Yeah, this is all flat top golden right? I wasted enough time. I spent like 10 minutes there. So the camera just uh, has trouble focusing uh, in macro. It's just a problem with it that uh, will have to be sent in for it, that's for sure. Which sucks because with all this nice weather, I don't really want to send the camera in. You know, but uh, we may not have a choice, you know. Yeah, nothing but great shapes here. Yeah, it's that sugar sand we love. White sugar sand, that's what we love. Green pines and a blue sky. Oh, unfortunately, the beetle's got a few pines in there. Uh, even here we got them. Well, it's another thing we got in common with New Jersey, right? The only thing we don't have in common with New Jersey is a good land preservation movement. <laughs> look at this, just wall-to-wall -wall pines over here, just nothing but great shapes. Take a look. Yeah, now those are some great shapes. So we've got these power lines in the way, kind of. Look at all the color on the ground, the huckleberries. And uh, lots of bearberry, lots of bearberry. Now, those are some great shapes. Yeah, so these are the Lipa. That's a uh, 138 kV. These two were also 138 kV each, I believe now. Not as nice to look at as the JCPNL power lines. I kind of like JCPNLs better. Oh, yeah, look at this crazy one. Yeah, I remember this last time I was here. All right, we're going to have to kind of... Mm. Oh, this is good, I guess. It's a nice, crazy one. Yeah, it's a little classic Jersey style, a little one. Yeah, nothing but great shapes in this spot here. Nothing but shape, great shapes over here. Look at all this. I like the, the blend of the huckleberry and the bearberry together. That's nice. And sugar sand. Yeah. Why would anyone rather look at more stores? I'd rather look at these shapes. Man, look at these great shapes. Take a look at these beauties. All right, hopefully the camera can focus. This is stiff-leaved aster growing here in this uh, patch of bearberry. Let's see if I can get close to it. I'm gonna have to step into it. There. Hopefully that's focusing. I don't know if it is. You know, hopefully that's in focus. There's a bee right there. More camera problems again. It took me about uh, seven minutes to get a good picture of these. Ugh. Trying everything. This doesn't focus. Yeah, look at those great shapes, huh? Oh, deer. There's a deer. See, or... See running white-tailed deer. 
Hopefully that came out. I don't know, I love this camera, but it's having some issues lately. I don't know. It's gonna have to go to Canon. I do have other cameras I can use, but I like this one. Because it's got a super wide angle on a 24 mil. Really, it's very good for these kind of videos, you know. Look at that, huh? Nothing but great shapes. All right, uh, I'm running late. I wanted to be over in this spot about 20 minutes ago. <laughs> what else is new? <laughs> it's uh, easy to run late when you're looking at all these great shapes, let me tell you. Oh, look at those shapes, huh? All right, we're getting near the end of our walk here. I'm just walking to the power lines. That's the substation that we hang a left in the exit. But look at these, there's a classic jersey style one for you. Ooh, getting tired. I wasn't expecting to uh, <laughs> do any walking today, but we're doing it. There's the substation in the distance. Yeah. All right, getting closer to the exit here. There's the substation. I was wearing, wearing long sleeves, so I'm a little hot. And I'm wearing black pants. So, because I wasn't, ex I didn't think it was going to clear out today, so I didn't, you know, I didn't dress for the hiking. So I'm kind of uncomfortable, these clothes. All that sun, all the heat from the sun just gets me hot, you know. Luckily, I got some water with me that I found at the side of the trail. Yes, a uh, sealed water bottle, so. I don't know, people just, uh, stuff drops out of people's backpacks, you know. Yeah, there's the substation. Major substation, this is where all the power for Eastern Suffolk County goes through. It's a big, big substation. The substation over here. This has been here for a long time, this substation. Lipa. Look, there's a JCP and L style Paul over there. Yeah. All right, we're continuing on. I'm cutting things close, so I gotta get moving now. I'm gonna get over to Route uh, Nugent Drive, and then I gotta haul ass over the county center. Anyway, I think we'll wrap up the video right here. So, thank you for watching. I gotta start making some time because my bus is on about 35 minutes. So thank you for watching and remember, it's all about those great shapes.